There are countless killers that live under the water, but none quite as fast as the catfish. This predator verges on breaking the laws of physics when it goes after its target, which is exactly what we're about to see today. Want to see a catfish catch a carp? Tough luck, you can't. This fish is so insanely fast that you cannot see it catch its prey without slowing the clip down first. Take another look. Did you catch it? All I can say is, what a poor carp. You know that movie, Gone in 60 Seconds? This is the milliseconds version. That vacuum-like mouth left the poor creature no chance to react, and I'm not sure its eyes were fast enough to catch what had just happened even. I honestly thought the carp had escaped when I first watched this. Didn't think it was possible for the catfish to actually catch it that fast. This bird's about to get a taste of the same medicine. It was chilling in the water, not realizing what type of monster was lurking underneath it. Before you know it, the giant predator appeared from under the murky water and opened its massive mouth, completely engulfing the poor bird in it. It was like Jaws, but with a catfish instead of a shark. Speaking of sharks, who do you think would win in a fight between a shark and a catfish? A really, really big catfish, I mean. Please share your thoughts in the comment section down below. These monsters are experts at striking the glimpse of an eye and ending the battle before it even begins. Similar to the other clips we've been talking about, this catfish appeared out of nowhere and was able to grab a pigeon in its mouth and swallow it whole in under a second. The attack was so unbelievably fast that it looked like the bird just disappeared and wasn't even attacked at all. City pigeons have no idea what type of predators lurk in the uncivilized world. Some sneaky catfish had rolled into town and they had no idea, thinking they were safe as long as the humans were nice to them as usual. They were chilling by the river when the catfish revealed itself, grabbing one of the pigeons and making its short existence even shorter. The helpless pigeon could do nothing to defend itself, of course, especially after being dragged underwater. The attack was very sudden and very quick, but sadly, the yeah, same cannot be said to describe the pigeon's death. Ugh. Sick of waiting for the pigeons to jump into the water, these huge catfish started leaping out of the river to grab them instead. The pigeons seemed completely clueless too, just sitting there on the edge of the river and even returning after each attack. I've always known that pigeons weren't the brightest creatures out there, but this is so stupid it's sad. This jumbo-sized bottom feeder decided to go gourmet and nabbed itself a feathered snack. The catfish managed to gulp down everything but the bird's head, and the bird was going crazy trying to fight it off. The bird's head was sticking out of the fish's mouth like some twisted wildlife lollipop. Clearly not thrilled with its new role as a half-eaten meal, the bird went full berserker mode. It was pecking and flapping like its life depended on it, which, to be fair, it did. Meanwhile, Mr. Catfish was like, nice try, buddy, but you're not getting away that easy. The whole scene was a mix of fascinating, horrifying, and downright bizarre. Nature, eh? Always keeping us on our toes, or fins in this case. These catfish went all Rambo on those poor pigeons. The birds were just hanging out on their little pigeon platform, probably plotting their next poop attack on some unlucky statue when BAM! The catfish started disappearing some of them. The greedy predators were launching out of the water like they had rocket boosters, and the result was a feathery massacre. Seriously, after seeing that, good luck convincing anyone to feed the birds by the river again. Northern pikes are just as deadly, and unfortunately for ducks, their babies are among the most tasty and most targeted creatures in the wild. Playing it cool at first, this hungry pike waited for as long as it needed to, and once the moment was right, it attacked the poor little creature and disappeared with it underwater, preventing the poor mom from trying anything to help her duckling. Wow. 
What was I just telling you? This bass spotted a group of baby ducks with their mother and couldn't help but attack them. The fish was sneaky, but the duck did notice it right before it attacked. That didn't really help, though, as the fish was able to grab one of the ducklings and torpedoed away with it before anything could be done to stop it. You see this little bluegill just hanging there looking all innocent? It's about to disappear into a bass's stomach. One bass was super close to it but didn't want to eat it for some reason. Then a second one showed up. The huge fish came charging in and gobbled it up in one bite. The attack was too fast to see clearly, but that didn't save the poor fish from losing its life as a result of it. Take a look at this giant fish trying to fight off a catfish that was able to stuff its entire head inside of its mouth. The giant fish was doing its best and fighting back as hard as it could, but the catfish made it look like it wasn't even trying. It just held it there seemingly without effort. There's something truly terrifying about watching a fish that size so helpless in the mouth of a greedy predator. We're lucky we don't have to deal with such creatures. You know how pike and bass fish were going after little ducklings and terrorizing the tiny creatures? Catfish are too nice to do that. They instead go after the fully grown ducks. Look at this bloated catfish and guess why its stomach is so big. Correct, there's a whole duck inside and the poor thing was probably still screaming in there. That's gonna be a challenge to digest for sure. You know those moments when you just have to scratch your head and say, huh? This video's definitely one of them. A fisherman was working through a nightmare trying to catch this giant catfish, and it took him an hour and a half to reel it in. Then this fox, the little scamp, showed up. It sees the catfish tied up and thinks, hey, maybe I can get a free meal here. So it started tugging, pulling, and pushing, trying to get the catfish closer to shore. If the fish had reached it, the foolish scavenger would have gotten swallowed alive, and it quickly realized that and backed off at the right time. Did you enjoy this video? Please let us know in the comments section down below. And don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. And please, turn on your notifications bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.